came up and I'm now in a program uh, for uh, yeah uh, getting better and uh, that takes such a lot of energy and time so that's also one of the reasons uh, I didn't uh, made it but next time Puerto Rico we are coming uh, that's uh, that, that's great uh, but I'm not alone um, we are here at our home base uh, at surftherapy.nl and I thought, uh, yeah, if we uh, uh, are not as group to the UK, we uh, are here as group. So the presentation uh, we do uh, with uh, uh, also Rosalie and uh, Carlene, and Carlene is uh, tomorrow also in the program, so it's a warm up for her. Um, yeah, we wanted to talk about the, the building, the trust, and uh, about surf therapy and the role uh, we take in it. Um, to explain uh, people what uh, uh, surf therapy is, uh, we have all, uh, a short video uh, which is made uh, last year when we did a, a surf study and. Every time, yeah, you can see the video soon, but every time uh, I see the video, it's without uh, the, the sound because it's all Dutch, uh, all speaking Dutch, but uh, we are telling it. Uh, we did a study to uh, measure the effects of surf therapy, but I'm also always amazed when I see the video and hear uh, the participants talking about the effects. Um, uh, we, uh, uh, I'm, I'm always surprised, like uh, you see uh, Bart in a minute, and Bart is one of our uh, younger surfers, here it's coming, and he tells in the video that it's uh, the best thing uh, he ever had in therapy, and it helped him the most, the surfing. And uh, in this part, he's telling, uh, yeah, now I can do everything. And um, yeah, Bart is uh, always with us. Uh, when we have time, uh, he's coming. And uh, Bart uh, is special. Uh, yesterday, he got his uh, second uh, child. So his second fatherhood. And uh, yeah, he's, he's uh, so enthusiastic and uh, telling about it and that's one of the things I, I'm always surprised when they tell how much it's meant for them uh, the surf therapy and here's Rosalie uh, telling about uh, the study uh, how we do it and you see all the mouth mask it was last year uh, it was uh, in the COVID period but we were allowed to give uh, surf therapy uh, like this it was also a challenging week for us because it was in the summer, but that week we had the only uh, one uh, summer storm uh, of the year. Uh, um, so it was uh, uh, a challenging week with a lot of wind, a lot of uh, big waves, uh, even an evacuation because we were on the glamping. Um, uh, all the people were there in tents but uh, the storm was uh, that big during the night that we had to evacuate. Uh, but yeah, we all did it. And uh, after the storm, we ended uh, that day with a session till dawn. We served till 11 o'clock, the sun went down and it was amazing. So a lot of challenge and a, a lot of uh, uh, nice thing we saw and we are going to talk about it, about the, the results. So we started surf therapy um, when I was working in a, in a, a rehab, uh, rehabilitation center. And the first uh, uh, time was uh, that a young guy uh, saw me uh, walking with a surfboard because the rehabilitation center was uh, near the sea and I was a day off but I walked with my surfboard and he said oh, I want that too and uh, yeah I said uh, okay it was a nice day uh, why don't you join me 
And he said, okay, I'm coming. And my wife was this uh, physiotherapist. So she blocked his day from the therapy and we went to the beach and we were amazed about the effect of this, this person. He was sad, he was uh, thinking, is this my life? But after that session, he was happy and we thought, oh, we have to do more with it. Uh, so we started a program in the rehab center that that Friday afternoon, we went surfing with uh, some patients and uh, we got more and more uh, people to help us. Uh, it was also a strange thing in the, in the, in the, in the clinic because uh, as a doctor, I was sometimes walking in my wetsuit and yeah, people uh, have had talks about it. Some liked it, some liked it not. But uh, yeah, we uh, continued the program. The only thing is uh, when they finished uh, the hospital, uh, yeah, there was nothing uh, because we only could do this in our working, in our time and in our working time. And it was not allowed to help people who were not uh, as a patient uh, registered in the hospital. So um, that's why we started the foundation. Uh, we wanted to do more. And uh, also after the rehabilitation program, we saw that people were uh, uh, searching for activities, uh, what they could do after. And uh, we saw still that they had results from the surf uh, sessions. So yeah, we got more and more uh, people asking for it and also people from other rehabilitation centers or just in the neighborhood seeing it and asking, oh, can I do that? Can I try that? So that was the startup of the, of the foundation. And at the moment, yeah, the foundation is growing uh, every year. I think about 300%. Per we started with uh, three people and a bunch of volunteers. And now if we look, we have about 110 volunteers. And uh, yeah, we do a lot of surf, uh, not only in the weekend, also in the week. Uh, different programs, we try a lot of things to help everybody and to give everybody a surf. But uh, yeah, it's asking a lot. Uh, and I think everybody knows that who starts a foundation. Begins uh, uh, small, but yeah, it, it grows enormously. So, but about trust, um, you can see that, uh, yeah, we have uh, also a lot of organizations together, uh, yeah, to uh, build up the surf therapy in Holland. Uh, we have uh, different organizations working together and uh, yeah, that gives us also the trust that we work on a product uh, with more and more support. And uh, yeah, the, the nicest thing I think, and that's uh, uh, also uh, great from you know, the ISTO, the sharing, uh, um, yeah, all working together and not only national, but international, you see much, much more platforms uh, we can uh, cooperate with and uh, yeah that helps us uh, not only um, yeah to share to learn from each other but also to uh, give our environment uh, uh, the situation that it's really a thing uh, it's really helpful to serve therapy and it's not only we it, it's it's bigger than that and, and therefore uh, very helpful. Uh, uh, and for me, um, the ISTO 2019 was uh, such a motivation to go on. Uh, I was in a job change and uh, yeah, it was uh, a time for, uh, I didn't uh, worked anymore uh, at uh, the rehabilitation center where we gave surf therapy, uh, but I 
certainly didn't want to lose it. So that was also one of the reasons we started up the foundation to go on, to, to get it in own hands uh, and uh, yeah, to, to uh, work with it uh, and get it bigger. Uh, because yeah, you get more and more questions from uh, participants, can I join you? And we don't want to say no. And speaking to uh, the larger organizations uh, there in California, uh, sharing all the uh, yeah the, the experiences, uh, also the uh, foundation session uh, inspired me a lot. From how do you get the money? Uh, what what do you have to ask? Uh, very helpful to go on. Um, about the um, uh, building trust, uh, we also want to know what we are doing and uh, also giving back to the participants why we think uh, surf therapy can help and also to all people uh, yeah, who are interested in funding. It's also very helpful to have a clear uh, thought about what surf therapy does. Because we work with uh, a lot of people with brain damage. Uh, we focused on the brain from what's happening with surf therapy, uh, what uh, does it uh, uh, change, does it change something? Uh, uh, yeah, and on that question, I, I, I often use this picture because uh, we tell people uh, and they recognize that that uh, if you are in the water, you are on a surfboard, the waves are coming in, uh, you cannot think about what you are doing. You just have to uh, react uh, like a reflex. And the cortex, the upper part of your brain, uh, there you think, there you plan, there you uh, motivate what you are doing, uh, but it costs a lot of energy, it's slow. Uh, but in the rehab center, uh, you are forced to use that uh, most because uh, if you take a step, it must be safe. So people, uh, uh, therapists will ask from stop, think, do uh, system, but it costs a lot of energy. It's safe, but it's uh, uh, hard work. And you know, at the C, yeah, we see in the beginning people are used to to uh, balance most uh, of the time on their right side, on the not affected side. But after a few minutes, uh, you see them sitting straight on the board, uh, the waves coming in, they stay on the board, uh, the balance is totally controlled by a reflex in the system. And that's more in the deeper brain. And in the deeper brain, um, you cannot plan, you cannot think, you cannot... Uh, 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 plan. It's just, um, yeah, you, you have to, your body has to move and to stay there and to survive, survive actually the waves, the sea and uh, stay on the board. And yeah, that's the thing, uh, that's the deeper brain. Mostly it's not the affected part. Uh, certainly with stroke, uh, most of the strokes are in the cortex side and uh, not uh, that much in the deeper brain side on the reflex base. So uh, you use old path you, you already know, but uh, you didn't find it, find it anymore. And now you are forced to use it. And uh, I think that's one of the principles that, yeah, you can see uh, the effect of surf therapy that fast, that after every session, every, uh, somebody says from, hey, I can do uh, this uh, better, I'm walking better. Uh, and also, oh, my mom says uh, I'm using my arm uh, with, uh, my, uh, with uh, doing my hair or cooking or something like that. I didn't notice because you are not thinking about it. It's reflex based. But uh, uh, often the surrounding, uh, the environment is uh, attending to that. Huh. Type before we go on, maybe you can say to everybody, well, if you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A. We will check the Q&A and we will really love to have some inter live interaction with you. So 
uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A and we will interrupt the ties a little and he can uh, answer your questions. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always talking, uh, people say, and talking and talking. So uh, an interruption for a question is uh, very good. Um, we have also some evidence uh, for uh, neuroplasticity uh, after uh, surfing. Because uh, if you search in the literature, uh, you have um, a unique challenge uh, to get better, to uh, 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 get uh, the best rehabilitation. And uh, an enriched activity, what surfing is, I think, um, can stimulate the, neuro the, the neurosprouting. So neurons can sprout, and if you uh, have no brain lesion and you go uh, surfing or learn something you really want to do, uh, then you have the same effect, the sprouting is there. Uh, but most of the time, if you are ready uh, with the rehabilitation uh, period, uh, you're, yeah, a lot of people are not stimulated that much anymore because you cannot do what you are used to do. And a lot of people are going, yeah, sitting, uh, do activities that doesn't challenge that much. much. So you are not stimulating the sprouting then. And uh, yeah, surf therapy is a change of activity uh, uh, that's stimulating a lot. And also an enriched environment and that's the sea, the beach, the salt, the, the, wind. Uh, the wind, yeah, the, the uh, seals, uh, all the people around you. Um, it, it's uh, also stimulating the stem cells and uh, the stem cells to migrate and the stem cells to grow out and to grow uh, over there. Uh, so um, in, in the red studies, uh, you can really see the effect of, uh, of uh, an uh, enriched environment. And uh, yeah, an example for that is also that uh, we had Richard, and Richard was talking also to a television program that uh, in the beginning, he didn't feel one side of his face. And when he shaved, uh, he had a lot of cuts, but he went to the surf therapy and um, suddenly the salt, the salty water, um, he, he got a signal from that. And after a while, the few weeks later, he didn't have any cuts anymore because he said there's a new uh, stimulation going on. Uh, I have new, uh, it's, it's not painful, the salt, but it's an, uh, uh, a sensation I can recognize, but the sensation made also that he uh, recognized his blazer of uh, his, his blade, his razor blade. So um, yeah, he said uh, there's some function back, and there's uh, some connection back, and uh, that's the, the the also a part of the enriched environment, and then the salty water. And activity and intensity matters also. Uh, the more you do, the intensive uh, 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 action you do, it, it, it helps with uh, more and more recovery. And that's also, uh, yeah, if you uh, see the surf sessions and if we do a day surfing, we do two sessions a day and in between sometimes yoga uh, to cool down, but also a lunch and we tell a lot about uh, the effects of surf therapy, uh, so it's a very intense day, and uh, yeah, we see uh, that it has uh, results. So it's uh, more than maybe the therapy they got in the clinical situation. Uh, thanks. Before we go on, uh, can you maybe describe what kind of uh, participants are in our program? Because it seems like four or five hours seems as quite active persons uh, after having a stroke. Um, but I think there are more people than everyone is welcome in our program. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the story now is based on the brain because we did a study in, in that group. 
But uh, yeah, I think it's it's uh, for everybody. Uh, yeah, it, it's open and uh, it, it works the same. Uh, also, uh, yeah, if you have mental problems, uh, uh, your brain needs also that intense stimulation. Uh, can use it. Uh, so yeah. It, it works for uh, different groups and we see of different, also different groups. Yeah, so the persons in a wheelchair are welcome in our group and can be able for a session for four or five hours. But yeah. Also the people who are cycling to our program, for example. Yeah, yeah, it's all, it uh, doesn't matter how you come here. Uh, if you come by a car, uh, can all, by bed, can also, it's, uh, yeah. 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 I think there's a question, I think you will tell all about it later on. Uh, okay, uh, the current research to support a physiotherapy from uh, Shane Car Carpenter. Yeah, Rosalie is uh, telling you in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's uh, also the mental uh, effects. Uh, yeah, I often refer to the WAVE project, uh, the research, but also uh, the SURF project from Holland. Um, uh, we did our study m uh, more on uh, functional uh, uh, outcomes, but uh, uh, it's well described and it's very helpful for us to uh, explain. And yeah, this. Um, uh, no, I can tell you yeah, but I want Carleen uh, to ask something yeah. because. Um, when we come to funding, to find funding, to talk with insurance companies, there's always this, yeah, ridiculous curve. We are, um, uh, th th this is a neurological standard of the recovery of stroke. And the curve is, yeah, saying that after a year, uh, you don't have to expect much more recovery. And this is something uh, we disagree. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is what we hear a lot from our participants that, um, uh, yeah, they hear that. And, and in Holland, the, the insurance uh, uh, companies uh, uh, take over this uh, curve and say, yeah, in the beginning, uh, you can gain a lot so then intensive therapy uh, you can get after that you can some daycare therapy but till a year every program uh, paid program from insurance companies will stop because of this curve i think it's a self-fulfilling prophecy uh, this curve if you uh, are organizing your system in this way uh, but uh, Carleen, can you tell what you feel, what you, how you are standing to this curve? Yeah, um, my brain damage is more than four years ago and I'm still improving. I think the curve is not like this, but it's this. And um, recovering is your whole life. It's not that you have to be in a rehabilitation center the whole your whole life, but your daily life can be uh, a training as well as long as you um, um, uh, yeah if you challenge yourself and being challenged by others. Yeah. Yeah. And being a trust from others that you yeah, can challenge yourself. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Because. Uh, personally, I felt a little abandoned by the system because when everybody in the rehabilitation center and other systems tell you that you are not able to recover, well, then yourself uh, is the last person who believes that you will recover. So, um, yeah, when everyone tells you, you will believe it. But Luckily, I didn't believe it, so... <laughs> yeah, that's great, Carlene, and that's also what we want. And that made me also another doctor, uh, because uh, I was in the... I'm, I'm, yeah, was 
was in the system of that curve. I had to work for uh, that same system. I had to tell people from, no, you are not getting any program now because yeah, it's uh, almost here and uh, it's ready. We don't have any uh, programs uh, left for you. And um, that's why, um, uh, yeah, I'm so happy with also having the surf therapy because uh, yeah, I cannot, it, uh, I, I believe um, that uh, yeah, the patients are right. Uh, they know what they need. They know what they uh, have to do. And if they are saying, I'm not ready, and I have to say, I, I know you are ready. Uh, now uh, I can say, yeah, you are certainly not ready, but uh, you have to search for uh, activities, for um, yeah, things uh, that can challenge you. And if you like water, come with me and go on. So, uh, yeah, that's also uh, that we are more and more growing because I take a lot of patients uh, also to the water uh, afterwards. But, um, yeah, uh, I think, and that's also building trust, you have to trust uh, uh, your participants, your patients. Uh, they know the best what they need. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm very glad with the with the surf therapy uh, that I can uh, offer uh, uh, something else. There are also persons uh, you know, who don't like surfing, don't like water, uh, even yeah, in Holland we have also the cold water and, and not the, the, the very smooth uh, waves. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, we want to move our station to uh, warmer uh, regions, but uh, we are planning also uh, some uh, winter camps, but it's, yeah, um, uh, I, I'm going to search for other activities then, uh, because it's so important that you go on and not sitting to the, on the couch and, and stay there. Uh, then the curve is right, then, then we do the same. So that's uh, one of the parts of, uh, yeah, why I put so many uh, time and energy in this. There's two more questions. Ah. Uh, there's a question uh, from, oh, it's no, not a name. Um, have you seen a change in mental health as a result of improved uh, physical function? Uh, yeah, yeah, we see that, uh, I think, uh, a lot of sessions. Uh, 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 also, people who uh, say, uh, yeah, if this is my life, uh, I don't know if this is uh, how or, 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 or that I want to live. And uh, yeah, we have now uh, several people here who come very often and with a big smile and uh, coming off the water and asking for more and more and more uh, and also give presents from uh, I just got one from uh, uh, this is my home uh, like Texas like that from uh, I feel safe here uh, and and uh, yeah I really something for my own, for my own uh, I, I have something to live for so that that's that's then extreme, but uh, everybody, uh, yeah, you see it. And, and you see it also in the energy level. Last uh, three weeks, we had somebody new and his partner called me in front before. I said, she comes for a day and she said, no, she can only do two hours. Uh, do we have uh, something she can rest, a bed or something like that? I said, no, I have not a bed, but I have some yoga stuff. She can lay there if, if necessary, and uh, yeah, she's uh, um, she has been here the whole day and two sessions, and she was the last one coming off the water and walking from the beach to the to the beach house. Uh, that's also a few hundred meters, and uh, yeah, then driving home. So yeah, 
you see it uh, every time. Yeah, and I think it's not only for the participant itself, but also for the people, so, yeah, people like a partner. Uh, not that a partner has mental health problems, but uh, the mental um, vision on his partner, his wife in this case, cha will change when he sees some some serving day he is uh, she is um, serving and active such a few uh, hours and not only two hours but actually a whole day theory <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah next question <laughs> uh, there's also a question can we access the studies that shows the evidence about cell yeah. therapy yeah well um we're now um planning to publish the results so it will be uh, i hope in one in a half year or a year uh, but we have now for you uh, already preliminary results uh, to show and if you would love to have more information you can uh, contact us uh, of course yeah that's info at surftherapy.nl you can uh, but we will share or video we at yeah great okay next uh, the results from our pilot study. Yeah. So, Rosalie, what um, did you find? Uh, well, um, the pilot study well, contains of, uh, in this case, 10 participants, um, aging between 22 and 71, uh, all acquired brain injury. Um, the level is between um, only able to, to move in the house and live in the house and do a daily um, ADL. So daily living activities uh, to people who are able to drive a car uh, and uh, can come by themselves to the surf clinic and all in between. And um, uh, these participants we have observed for five days. And um, well, the, the first thing we saw already before analyzing all the results was uh, in the five days of surfing, um, the, the happiness on their faces, uh, but also the, the little and bigger stories. Oh, I was just in the toilet and I was standing, but I realized I was before not able to stand without a cane. And now I was just standing and doing my toilet things, in this case a man. Uh, so <laughs> and that's little stories makes, uh, yeah, as a professional uh, physiotherapist and scientist, uh, makes me happy before I even analyzed the, the results. And I think in the next um, slide, you can see the first um, result. So the research question was, what's the influence of, influence of uh, five days surfing on people after stroke, on the outcomes, uh, walking ability, um, uh, balance, uh, self-confidence, self-efficacy. So a little mental uh, outcomes as well. Um, and if you can click on the next yeah. one. Yes. If someone can click for the next slide. <laughs> Tom, can you help us? <laughs> the clicker doesn't work. Can you uh, renew it? Yeah, I tried. Uh, well, I, I, can, I can already uh, talk about it. So, uh, due to code, uh, in the beginning we had a, we had a plan for three um, measurement um, moments, um, one before surf week, or one directly after surf week, and one half year later. Um, well, due, actually, thanks to COVID, we had two um, pre-tests. Uh, and what we saw in the pre-test is that they actually, uh, the participants stayed stable. So we measured them in March 20, uh, 2019, and we measured them in August 2019, both before surf week and we saw a stable functioning. Actually in line with the graph we just uh, criticized with uh, Thijs and Carleen, that in this phase of recovery for people after brain damage, um, yeah. there is no recovery anymore. Um, and we think, we thought, our hypothesis was, well, when we challenge them and really give them an enriched environment, um, the people uh, would be able to <laughs> Well, to improve um, their walking ability, their balance ability, those kind of things. I'll try again for the clicker, but. Yeah. 
Time is also a stop. Zo, ik ben even aan het praten en zij horen mij niet. Nee, ik ga So Tom, can I still continue? Is someone hearing me? Oh, but we don't see it. By us, it's uh, it, it's blocked. Twelve, uh, please. Uh, 12. Yeah, 13. Uh, 12. Oh, yeah, 12. 12 yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, thanks. You're great, Tom. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so what you see on the slide uh, is actually two outcomes. One is the left uh, graph is the balance slide, and the other one is the six minute walking test from some of you uh, well known, I suppose. And you see uh, the four first point is uh, mostly at the left. Um, and then you see a, a quite horizontal line. And that is the line between the two measurements before Serpik. And uh, this line is actually in line with uh, all the graphs the insurance tells us in the chronic phase of recovery after brain injury, um, the, there is no, actually no recovery anymore. So now, and then we thought, well, uh, let's challenge them, challenge them in a survey, five days of intensive serving. And you saw just uh, the, the video uh, at the start of this presentation. Um, it was really intense. The waves were really intense. The weather was really intense. And directly after these five days, we measured them again. And we saw uh, an improving uh, line. Um, But actually, when we were measuring, we talked to each other and said to each other, well, what are you measuring actually? Because they are all so tired of five days of surfing uh, in these weather conditions. So we decided to add an extra measurement point uh, two months later in October 2019. And then um, we were really, uh, uh, well, uh, really happy with seeing the results. Um, and seeing the participants even better than just after the serving week. The recovery continues um, also for two months later. And that's not only on balance, but also on six minutes walking um, and also in a two th and doing two things together like uh, dual tasking, walking and uh, talking together. Uh, most of the time when someone is not able to walk really easily Uh, when you talk to such a person, he will stand still and talk to you. And when he stops talking, he will continue walking. And uh, we also saw that that was improving uh, in, this, uh, in these participants. Um, and we heard from them and we saw in questionnaires that they were really more participating uh, also in their own life. Um, this is what we saw in primary outcomes like walking and balance. And it was improving. It was also improving that um, that they were really more um, more able to easily participate in, in normal living in, in social life. And for everyone, is it the social life different? Like uh, a young person uh, like Carlene from 30 years old with a whole life um, and whole future um, is of course different than a 17 one years old person. But even uh, this person was uh, clearly better after the serving week. Um, so maybe uh, if you add something. Yeah, maybe next slide. Next slide for the dual task and participation. Yeah. If you saw some additions for that? No. 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 So what you see in this slide as well, um, before they well even uh, had more difficulties with uh, doing tasks together uh, just before serve week. And right after surf week, they were really more able and better able to do two things together. Um, and that makes a difference in, in real life. Um, because, for, for example, crossing a street and uh, you have to walk uh, and cross the street and suddenly there comes a car or suddenly there comes an electric bike. Um, you, have to, uh, yeah, you have to react on that and to anticipate on that. And, uh, well, they were really improved. Yeah, that's also uh, um, supporting uh, the model of the, the brain uh, and uh, stimulating the reflex space. 
because uh, if you do two things together, uh, you do one thing mostly on a reflex base and think about the other uh, thing. So it's supporting that, I think. Um, next slide, please, Tom. Um, that's the one about, for example, daily activities. Um, like uh, all the daily activities, activities work is so normal for us, like washing, uh, brushing our hair, um, uh, doing uh, the, um, uh, getting dressed. All that such easy things for us are for these participants, for most of them are challenges daily challenges uh, or daily difficulties and uh, we saw after directly after cervix maybe because of the uh, wet shoots uh, getting on and off on and off um, they improved in the in their they experienced less difficulties in, the, in daily care activities like uh, getting dressed or brushing their hair or such things um, and i think that will be a really makes a really difference for also partners who have to help uh, our participants with uh, these kind of things. Um, but this, well, these results uh, you look for us, uh, it looks quite impressive. Um, but in my opinion, as a professional, uh, as a healthcare professional, it's nothing when the participants doesn't support us. So actually the most interesting question uh, we ask a half year later after the survey week, uh, again, we did measurements and again, we uh, and, and we asked them, okay, but what uh, is your experience uh, from this survey? We are now a half year later. And can you tell us um, since the survey, Tom, the yeah. next slide. <laughs> yeah. uh, can you tell us uh, what, what happened since the survey uh, in regards to your complaints? And um, we summed up some uh, quotes and I think it's a, uh, quite little to, uh, to read. Um, so um, let's continue to the next slide and then I will explain. Uh, but what, because what we saw is that actually uh, all 10 uh, participants, um, in, well, it's only 10 participants, but in this case, all the 10 participants uh, told us that they, uh, after a half year, they still had their benefits of the cervix and uh, regards to the walking ability. Um, measured by the six minute walk test. Um, some participants said, well, I can better control my paratic foot. Uh, I used to stumble every day on work uh, over my feet. Um, and since the survey, my balance is so improved that I uh, will stumble less. Um, one person said, well, <laughs> finally, I don't need my ankle foot orthesis anymore. So it makes, well, it makes a difference in the morning that I don't need such stupid uh, ad, um, I walk now better and faster. And uh, that's what you see in the graph. So the blue, um, um, blue, blue, the blue <laughs> uh, is directly after cervix, uh, the average uh, distance of six minutes walking was 300, uh, about 300 meters. And uh, six weeks later, post cervix, they improved uh, further and uh, in our opinion, recovers further uh, to 360 um, uh, meters. And this is all average uh, message, measures. So, um, for example, one of our participants, or one or two of our participants could only walk 30 meters. There was one participant who, who was able to walk 600 meters, but on average, um, and it makes such a difference. And we uh, were really surprised and uh, well, uh, happy to see that after six months, they um, continued their improvement, but they had made uh, after cervix and even improved. Although um, another lockdown in Holland. Yeah. So, so normally we see in, uh, in healthcare that in winter, uh, people uh, have a well, worse um, uh, active behavior uh, like normal people uh, in winter. We, in, in general, we, uh, we are less uh, outside, walk less, uh, do more with the car. Um, that's not only healthy people, also in uh, people like uh, our participants. And even uh, during winter and the lockdown, they continue their active behavior, in my opinion. And um, 
well, they continue their, their achieved level. And uh, well, for the publication later on, uh, we will check, okay, uh, did all 10 participants really continue or maybe eight or maybe the half? But our first view of this is that actually all the participants uh, uh, improved and uh, were able to, to continue their improved level. Um, next slide, Ethel. So the same you see in the, um, uh, in the balance um, graph, uh, a little bit different scores, but still um, they continue the, the improving and were able to, um, to continue the improvement uh, after a half year. And for the scientific persons uh, under uh, our public, uh, the standard of measurement of this test is uh, 1.5. So you see that the improvements, uh, what we have seen the improvements were bigger than the start error of measurements. So they really improved. Um, and then our, uh, our heart who, who speaks is, well, what says the participants? And they said, well, uh, for example, a really surprising uh, quote, in my opinion, I can better drive my car as I used to, uh, to really uh, need balance for when I'm making turns. Um, and now uh, I have a better balance making turns during driving my car. And in bed I can sit up straight up without any support. Um, besides dressing up in standing positions is a way easier for my wife since the surfing. And that's what I mean with it's not only the participant who improves and whose life is getting better, but uh, also the people surround uh, these people. Um, next slide. And the same thing you see in the double cast. Is, so this is a slide one. How many casts is it for the person to do two things together? Um, well, when they're doing two tasks together, in this case, walking and counting, um, just after surfing, it was only 29% more casts. Um, and it's, well, keeps uh, quite stable after half a year. Um, next slide, Tom. So um, in the last one uh, about self-efficacy, so having the self-confidence in own abilities and achieving goals, um, we saw a big improvement um, and hear it back from the participants as well. So my body is more flexible than before and my self-confidence is improved. I feel I'm back in society and that feels great. Yeah, well, that's what I, that's why I put so much effort in this kind of organi this organization and volunteering and uh, well, trying my best to do uh, as much research as we can. And also this uh, outcome is continuous, continues after half a year. So um, well, we are, are really happy with these results. The patients and the participants are really happy with the results and it gives us support to continue um, with this, um, with our surf therapy and getting a well, social company as well. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Rosalie. And um, uh, if you can go to the next slide, Tom, then, uh, yeah, we have, um, um, with this result, and um, yeah, we have the motivation to go on and uh, to make it possible for more and more people. But that's also a challenge. And you still have to, uh, uh, keep the trust in you are doing the right thing uh, so we uh, made uh, the three goals that we which we are starting we started the, the foundation is uh, uh, at the first point the safety uh, to feel always the important thing is to feel the, that people feel that they are safe with us that they we do uh, 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 our work uh, with passion, but also with knowledge uh, to convince that things are happening, to explain how things are happening. Um, and uh, yeah, keep, keep uh, the therapy uh, always safe. You cannot uh, grow large if, if you don't, uh, yeah, if you fail in this, because uh, it's, it's uh, not regular uh, uh, therapy and uh, yeah, people, uh, you, you have to do it good, uh, otherwise 
uh, yeah, you cannot do it. That's our uh, what we say to each other also. And um, yeah, important is to to gather more and more results. We this is a pilot. It's not uh, a real clinical study, um, but uh, to go on and to convince people, but also to give feedback to the participants. Uh, we want to start with a system uh, that we uh, do uh, uh, all kind of measurements on uh, uh, yeah, all, all different uh, moments uh, that we can show uh, this is your result, this is what you get uh, with us, this is what, what you read, but also to form your next goals and, and so you are growing uh, with us. And Tom, the next slide, please. Uh, in the future, and that's now starting, uh, we started up to serve clinic because of the growing uh, of all the participants and uh, yeah, to uh, work more seriously um, and to fulfill in, in, in the demand, uh, we started up uh, an enterprise. It's a social enterprise, a non-profit enterprise. Uh, the shareholders, uh, it's not allowed to ask for uh, profit sharing. Uh, it's forbidden. Uh, but um, uh, we want to start it uh, this way uh, to uh, give it a more formal status. And uh, at the moment, the surf clinic is uh, recognized as a healthcare uh, institution. So uh, we can practice healthcare uh, and we can practice surf therapy as healthcare uh, in this way. And uh, the client council, and we have uh, Carleen in the client council, uh, we, we made uh, the system in that way that they are actually in charge. They have to say what we have to do and we uh, will provide in, uh, uh, that in what we can do. Uh, there are limits, uh, I think, but uh, we don't uh, want to be stopped by that immediately. Uh, so that's our challenge to uh, fulfill the demand. And our vision is that we can help people after the rehabilitation uh, um, uh, period. So, may uh, the next slide, Tom. Um, so, we want uh, uh, give uh, actually a long life uh, support, uh, but we, uh, uh, yeah, we want to bring uh, uh, them on a level that they are uh, in a social situation, our participants, that they can work again, that they can uh, uh, live on their own and uh, have a, a, a day filling that's uh, uh, good for them, that, that's, uh, um, uh, yeah, that they can be happy. That they, so uh, at the moment in Holland, uh, that's the same for you, eh? As you, you don't have to work. Uh, you no, I'm not even allowed to work. <laughs> no, so you have uh, 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 something in your brain, so something happens. And at the moment, all the young people, uh, if you come with this kind of problem, they say, okay, uh, uh, you get your money uh, for the rest of your life. Uh, uh, and there it is. But that's totally not challenging. And uh, if we see Carleen now in our situation, she started up. Uh, as a participant, now volunteer, but much more than that in a year. Uh, she's doing all kinds of things. And uh, if you ask her, uh, she don't want to leave us, uh, but she wants to go on. And she wants to, yeah, now the client council, but the surf clinic, she's going to work there. She's going to help us and uh, we need her. And so she has such a talent and it's such a pity if you don't use that. And it's for all people who participate with us. We see uh, they are all. And hey, oh, stop the series.
they have uh, uh, so many opportunities to help us. And uh, I think also other companies. Uh, and uh, if you, which slide are you on, uh, Tom? If There's you, a question also. Uh, maybe you can go to 24. Uh, was there a specific reason that you made 36 the upper limit for your age range? Uh, no, there's no, uh, yeah, there's uh, a little bit reason that it's a, it's a focus. It's not a straight uh, limit. We, we don't have limits, but uh, it's more than a focus that we can, uh, but that we think we can do a lot with uh, the, this group, but it's not a limit. Uh, so uh, still everybody is welcome, but for uh, putting up um, um, uh, a program, uh, we choose the younger uh, uh, servers. But uh, if somebody else fits with a higher age, uh, that's also possible, and lower age also. Uh, yeah, we had a slide for the reinforcement cycle. Uh, there was a very inspiring um, uh, webinar from the ISTO, uh, I think. Uh, ISTO minutes. ISTO minutes, yeah, yeah, more than a month ago. Uh, probably we don't have the right uh, uh, cycle, but it's also our cycle. It helps enormous, enormously uh, yeah, to, to start a program and to start with the internal world uh, of the, the participant. Uh, to see the progression, to see the confidence, to see the trust, to, to see uh, somebody is growing and also the external world that everybody and also our uh, volunteers are seeing that, are enjoying it, are supporting it and family uh, are saying, hey, you are walking better, you are doing better, you are happier uh, and we want to change to the external world uh, uh, to, uh, 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 yeah, separately from the surf uh, clinic, that uh, also uh, companies will see from, hey, that's a talent, we want to have them, we want to uh, work for us. So, but go on, uh, then we go on to the next slide, this is slide 25, Tom. Uh, we still have a challenge, and that's the finance of this clinic. Uh, but uh, we are searching uh, for a solution and at the moment we have more and more questions for surf therapy also from uh, yeah not only uh, people with brain vision but uh, for example also from uh, young people uh, with uh, party drugs uh, addiction uh, also having uh, yeah uh, brain problems like concentrating, uh, less energy uh, for, uh, to forget things, uh, to organize things, uh, all problems in that. And it rather looks the same uh, that we are uh, doing in our programs uh, from the surf clinic with the people with brain lesion. And another group, um, there's an ask for helping the nursing staff, the intensive care units, nursing, uh, nursing staff, sometimes having COVID, sometimes not uh, having COVID, but see all the problems. At Holland, there's a huge problem at the moment in the nursing staff. Uh, there are a lot of dropouts at the moment, and um, yeah, there are questions coming to us. Um, can you support that by surf therapy? And I think we can, and maybe there's also a solution uh, that programs are stable. And that's why we uh, show here the Tompus. I don't know if anybody knows uh, outside Holland what it is, but it's very sweet. And in the beginning, yeah, we see it like this way. We focused on the, on the cream, but if you only serve the cream, it's, it's, it's nothing. Uh, and for the financing, uh, we have to need two stable layers uh, to pack the cream and to uh, uh, 
make it uh, uh, yeah that you can serve it but also if you see it the cookie the cream and the cookie with some uh, layer a nice layer up it it also is a better product and I think that's the thing uh, we are trying to do now and uh, in making uh, the surf clinic start and don't forget the glaze on top yeah <laughs> <laughs> in the nice pink uh, glaze yeah so uh, we are now uh, yeah because of my own si situation uh, we wanted to start much more er earlier with the surf clinic but that's not possible but we are now uh, 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 somebody is helping us to make it uh, in this way and we hope to start next year uh, with the surf clinic and uh, can help more and more people in a safe way, in a, a clean, it is not really a clinical way, but it's more uh, that it's uh, 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 a part of the healthcare system and we can do um, as much as we can. Thank you for listening. Oh yeah, and we have another slide, Tom, 26, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's Carleen <laughs> on the, on the uh, she uh, is uh, on the surfboard. This Sunday uh, we have the Petamer Power Wave Challenge, the first uh, tournament. wave challenge tournament we do for all kind of people who need a little bit more assistance. So uh, we are hoping it will be a, a, a very nice and, uh, uh, day and uh, yeah, also a challenge for all our participants and uh, a motivation to go on uh, with this uh, lovely sport. And uh, it's also uh, uh, that we are joining it with a pedal out uh, that day, the October 10th. So that's uh, uh, we, we we will share the the pictures from that, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, thank you very much. And if there are still questions, let us know. Um, thank you so much, Thais. Thank you so much. Time, but, uh, huh? We do. Uh, we have organized an online meeting for today. Um, you can try a new mover. So if you would like to have a, a tour. Uh, in our surf clinic and meet us live um, after yeah. uh, all the sessions, uh, you are really welcome. Um, thank you so much. Yes, uh, if you've uh, seen it on Hoover, join them online. Um, thank you so much for presenting. Um, where we're presented here from the Netherlands. Thank you so much. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as before, if you have any more questions, uh, put them on Hoover, they'll be, Hoover, they'll be able to answer them um, on the app. And um, we're going straight into our uh, next uh, presenters today, into our next speakers. Um, joining us from Germany, um, Bettina and Rosalie from uh, Wir machen Welle, we make waves. Applause! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Should we wait or? Yeah, so we'll wait five minutes. Yeah, yeah let's wait for five minutes. Yeah.